Hey guys, welcome back to my video series on unknown Batman villains, the ones who I think are the coolest yet get little to no attention. If you haven't seen my previous video about The Undertaker, it's definitely worth it. I'll post it on the screen at some point. Today's villain is one of Batman's darker villains. In fact, it's quite disturbing. Making his first appearance only four years ago in Batman Rebirth issue 38, you're sure to get chills down your spine. The title of the issue is called The Origin of Bruce Wayne. You'd imagine that this comic is about Batman's origin story, right? Wrong. It's about a wealthy kid named Matthew Warner who has serious issues. Matthew is about 12 years old and lives in a wealthy family. His childhood idol is Bruce Wayne. He obsesses over his lifestyle and circumstances. He wishes that he were just like him. He wants to be Bruce Wayne. But be careful what you wish for. Matthew's obsession becomes so intense that he decides to have his parents killed, all so that he can know what it feels like to have parents murdered, just like Bruce Wayne. Since he's just a little boy, no one suspects that it's, it was him who killed his parents. The GCPD thinks that he was someone else, like Two-Face or Victor's ass. But it doesn't stop there. Matthew then requests that Bruce Wayne come give him personal counseling, and which Bruce does, thinking that he's being compassionate to a kid who just experienced tragedy. Matthew pretends to act grieved and sad in front of Bruce Wayne, but in reality enjoys it, experiencing the thrill of relating to his childhood idol. If murdering your parents isn't enough, Matthew's delusion grows even more. Matthew then carves the names Thomas and Martha into his face, the same names as Bruce Wayne's deceased parents. By the time Batman figures it out that it was actually Matthew who was responsible for the murders, he finds him in a graveyard scratching out his own parents' names from the gravestones and instead writes Thomas and Martha. From this point on, Matthew refuses to be called by his own name. As he is placed in an asylum, he continues to tell the guards that his name is Master Bruce. In his eyes, he's become the real Bruce Wayne. Matthew, aka Master Bruce, swears to devote the rest of his life to getting vengeance on his parents' deaths. In retrospective, we learn that the title of this comic issue, The Origin of Bruce Wayne, is actually referring to the origin of self-proclaimed Bruce Wayne, Matthew Warner. His only other appearance as to date came in Batman issue 61. Still inside Arkham Asylum, Master Bruce, as he wants to be called, murders a random inmate, believing that he was the one who was responsible for the murder of his parents and that he needed to get vengeance. This kid has serious issues. Let this be a warning to you all. Don't let your celebrity obsessions get the better of you. Thanks for watching. Tune in later for my next Batman villain reveal. Let me know what you think of Matthew Warner, aka Master Bruce, and if you'd like to see him make it to the big screen one day. As always, peace.